Hey guys, today we're going to be setting up Wi-Fi on Arch Linux using WPA Supplicant. So this is going to be all CLI based, everything from the command line. So first thing we're going to do, type IPL to show the interfaces. And WLP3SO is our wireless interface. And we can also type IPA to show this interface and that it doesn't have an IP address. It would have an, it would show the IP here if it did have one. Also, ifconfig-a gives prettier output in my opinion. And if you if you have this command installed on your system and you can see the, the same interface info and that it does not have an IP address. So next we are going to CD into Etsy WPA supplicant and we are going to edit our WPA supplicant.conf file and we're going to paste in this pre-existing configuration that I put together. <clears throat> the important things here are the SSID, that's the name of your wireless access point, and the password here. Uh, it's assigned to PSK and it's in quotes. So this is the actual password. Had you generated an actual pre-shared key, you wouldn't put it in quotes and there's another command you can use to do that. Check the link in the description for more details on that alternate way of doing it. And if you wanna copy and paste the same configuration or any of these commands, check the link in the description. So any case, after this, we're gonna run this WPA supplicant command with a dash B, a dash I, specify the interface, a dash C, in the config file that we just created. And again, if you wanna copy and paste this command, check the link in the description. All right, so now we've associated to the access point but don't have an IP address. So what we're gonna do is we are going to run the DHCP CD command, the DHCP client daemon, and this is gonna give us an IP address. So you can see the output here, it's giving us an IP address and all the other IP info that you get from DHCP. And that is it, that gives us a working, um, that basically gives us a working connection temporarily. This won't survive a reboot, we'll show you how to do that in just a bit. But right now we're gonna just demo that this is a working connection. So we, we do see the IP address there for this interface. So there's our wireless interface, there's the IP address. So, um, you know, everything looks like it should be working fine, but we're gonna test it out just a bit more before we move ahead and, and set this up uh, to persist. So first we're gonna run host Google. So we're just gonna, you know, do a DNS lookup on the, the website google.com. And then we're gonna ping Google, just another thing we can do to verify this. And last but not least, I'm going to open an actual web browser, and I am using Conqueror in this this case, so no Firefox, no Chrome, none of that. Um, it's been a few years since I've used this browser, but it, it I, I think it's a pretty decent browser. In any case, I'm going to load up load up Google, load up Reddit, just a few common websites, just to show that it's working. And that's about it. We're going to close that down, and now we are going to go ahead and reboot the system. So there we go, rebooted the system and we're back up now, sped through that a bit. So IPA and ifconfig-a both show no IP address associated with our wireless interface. And now if we go ahead and try to ping Google, um, we can't resolve the name because we don't have any, no, no IP address, no, no nothing, right? So we're, we're gonna go back in here to Etsy WPA supplicant and we're going to create a link and I'm gonna to need to be root to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and SCU to root. Now, we're gonna create this link, and if you wanna copy and paste this, again, check the link in the description for a document you can copy and paste this for. You're just gonna to wanna to change the interface name, and that's it, for the, for the interface matching our system. So we create a link that matches that format, right? So you can see the link right here, so we have, regular WA supplicant config file and that link right, right there. So the, you, you need a copy of this uh, conf file with that naming convention so that it will work with system D. So in any case, next thing we're gonna go CD into Etsy system D network and we are going to create a new file in here, um, 30 Wi-Fi network. Notice we already had a, a file for our wired interface so now we're creating one for our wireless interface. So um, basic, simple um, network interface file. Just make sure the, the interface name is correct. And we're going to restart systemd networkd. And we're now going to 
test it out and note that that was not enough to give us an IP address. So the next thing I'm going to try is just bouncing the system. Um, there may be something else I can do, but in this case, I'm just going to keep it simple and bounce it because I wanted to just do that to make sure it would survive a reboot anyways. So in any case, IPA shows that we do have an IP address. And same thing if you run ifconfig. So ifconfig-a, and you will see we have an, an IP address associated with the interface. So there we go. We have set it up to survive reboot. And we're, we're just going to check the status of, of uh, system D network D now. And ba basically, we, we set this up so, so that um, system D will be able to bring the interface up. It will be able to access that um, WPA supplicant config file that we created before. That's why we had to name it with that specific naming convention. And um, yeah, in any case, systemd brought up the, the Wi-Fi interface and uh, got us a DHCP address. So in any case, this is uh, some D, D message output showing that, you know, our, our NIC authenticated and associated. So just, just another thing just to show you, just to, you know, add some extra information here. Um, we're going to verify this by pinging google.com. And it, it's working fine. So next, we're going to try this out in a browser yet again. And it, it's, of course, going to work totally fine. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's how we set up a wireless interface with WPA supplicant on Arch Linux um, from the command line, all CLI based. So you, you don't have to use any GUI tools or anything like that for Wi-Fi. So, you know, if you found this helpful, definitely, you know, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube doesn't let you know when you come out with a new video. And, uh, you know, might want to give us a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have your own experiences, any comments, questions, criticisms, we want to hear it. Uh, yes, yeah, so definitely leave a comment down below and definitely subscribe. We have a lot of other great content coming out, a lot of interesting content, a lot of fun content, and a lot of useful content. So if you want a good YouTube feed, definitely hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on that next video.